I have never had the honor, I have never had the opportunity to talk to one of the greatest boxers of all time. Let us talk to the man they call Triple G, Gennady Golovkin. Wow, this is amazing. Gennady, how are you, my friend? Thank you for coming. I'm good. Thank you so much. Yeah. Wow, this is so great. Uh, it's such an honor to talk to you and to have you on the program. Uh, you, were, you were there in attendance on Saturday, and, and I'm sure you've been asked a bunch of times, but I'm dying to know what was going through your mind when you saw Andy Ruiz do what he did to Anthony Joshua? You know, it's not big news for me. You know, it's not a surprise. I'm not shocking because, you know, this is boxing. I know Andy a long time and, you know, everybody has chance. What did, in, in your expert mind, what did Joshua do incorrectly in that fight? Oh, everything. everything. Come on, guys, everything. Everything, just, you know, just my first, like, welcome to America. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the United States. Yeah, do you feel like maybe he was underestimating Andy? Probably yes, you know, he feel, no, I don't know, just, he look like, you know, superstar, he's coming to the United States. No, come on, no. This is very serious business, this is, you know, this is boxing. You can't disrespect he, your opponent. You know, Andy, he is good fighter and, come on, this is dangerous fight. Do you feel like you're sitting there watching this fight and on Saturday you're fighting at Madison Square Garden against a relatively unknown fighter to the casual fans, Steve Rolls, who's undefeated in his own right. So when you're watching that, is there almost like a lesson for you, don't underestimate this guy on Saturday that I'm fighting because the same thing can happen to me? You know, I, f I probably I feel a little different, you know, just I understand 100% that this is my serious business, you know, I remember like my position, like a Ruiz right now, you know, just nobody beat me, nobody, you know, just I have a good record, like I'm hungry, like probably this is my biggest chance, and I understand how I feel, you know, just Ruiz. Right. Uh, how, how much do you know about, or let me, let me ask it this way, when you first found out about Steve Rolls, how much did you know about him? A couple, maybe like five percent. Five percent. I know just name, yeah. I know just name, and I know just his record. And for me, more important, for me, more important, just his professional athlete, professional fighter. That's it. Right. Why are you taking this fight? Why against him? You know, this is not just my point. You know, the zone. He's from Canada. You know, the zone going to Canada right now. Like a, okay, like NBA final, Toronto versus you know. Golden State. Gold, Golden State. Golden State, yeah. Like, you know, just it's a surprise. Right. So so you, you got this opportunity against this guy. It's a, it's a chance for you to get back on track, perhaps. This is the first time that you're going into a fight coming off of a loss. Do you feel like it's different? Like, do you, do you feel a little more pressure because you're trying to get back in the win column? No, I feel very comfortable. I feel very comfortable because I know just since my first deal with the zone, my first fight with an all roles, I just, I don't feel pressure and just, I feel very comfortable. Uh, you did make a big change in, in your camp. You parted ways with Abel Sanchez, who's been by your side for a very long time, your longtime trainer. Why did you do that? Just how, how long, maybe like three, four weeks ago, he said I'd, it's finished, he doesn't work out with me. You know, just I bring Jonathan Banks. This guy, he helped me. Yeah, but wh why did you say goodbye to Abel? Oh, different view for future. Okay, um, and why why Jonathan Banks? He's wanna work with me, and you know, I like his experience. He's from Detroit, you know. He look he look nice. He had good experience with you know uh, Vladimir Klitschko. He had good experience with Emmanuel Stewart. I need this experience. Uh, when when the news came out, Abel said some some pretty harsh things. Did did what he say hurt your feelings? Were you surprised by some of the things that he said? Not a lot because I know him a long time. You know, just this is his side. My side, I think I tell him just thank you very much, coach. Like you know, just I go into public just say thank you for everything. Had you won that fight against Canelo, your last fight, do you think you would have stayed with Abel? You know, nobody knows because, you know, I want to change. I want to learn again and again and again. Just I want to more. 
Abel said, you know, he win like both fights, like he doesn't need change. Is and he uh, learn more. If you win this fight on Saturday, have you been guaranteed a shot at Canelo Alvarez? I think so. You think no, so? Right now, yeah, I think so. Right now, my focus is just rolls. If I beat him, just yeah, ninety-nine percent. Okay, a is it safe to say that that's what you want? Everybody want, not like a real. I don't want just everybody talking. If you everybody want, of course, it's good deal for to business, to money, to everything. W would you want that fight to be outside of Nevada? For me, for me, you know, just mm, I like New York. I like you know just because in New York, like Madison Square Garden, this. No, this make of boxing. Everybody won't fight in New York. You know, different people, different atmosphere. Like true people, you know, who love it, boxing, good quality fight. Not just gamble, not just show. Right. You you, you like New York clearly, uh, but you actually just you, you recently moved. You live full time in Los Angeles, correct? Right. Correct. Yeah. What what is that like coming from Kazakhstan now to the city of angels, Hollywood? How do you it's how do you like it? It's I, I like it. It's completely different, you know. Different level, different everything. Why did you do that? Why did you move your family there? It's better for my family, it's better for my career, for my boxing stuff, you know, for my everything. You sometimes, um, you know, when you come from, from a country in Europe, uh, Eastern Europe, you come from anywhere outside of the United States and then you move to America, the fans who have been following you from your home country feel like, oh, you know, you, why did you leave us? How come you're, 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 you're living in America now? Did you get any of that blowback from your fans back home? You know, just like true fans, true people, like smart people, everybody support me. Like, you know, I am from Kazakhstan, just my flag, my everything from Kazakhstan, you know. Just people understand because I don't have chance for this level. If I'm not coming to the United States, just I'm not state champions. You know, this is my. You know, in the United States, this first quality fight, first quality performs. You know, everything. I, I feel that, like has the government in Kazakhstan have they given you the credit and the respect that you deserve because you know not that long ago people kind of laughed at Kazakhstan because of the movie Borat but you I think changed the whole narrative surrounding that country and 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 made people I feel like pr proud to be from there as opposed to it being some sort of a joke do they give you the respect that you deserve over there of course of course a hundred percent of course yeah yeah, thank you, my people. Thank you, my fans. You know, everybody understands. Like, you know, right now, like, new vision to Kazakhstan, not just bored or something. Right. You you realize that you did that, right? You changed everything about that country, in my opinion. I hope so. Yeah. Um, in our sport, in mixed martial arts, are you an MMA fan? Do you watch MMA? Yeah, I watch MMA. Yeah, I like MMA. Who, who's your favorite fighter? Oh, it's, everybody's different. Okay. You know, everybody's different. There's not a guy or two that you say, wow, I'm, I want to go out of my way to watch him? No, I like a lot. You know, just heavyweight, like middleweight division, like like a Connor and Habib, you know, these guys, you know, like so many people. Oh. So, so in our sport, we've compared Habib to you a little bit. You know, you're from sort of the same part of the world. You, 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 you kind of talk a little bit the same way. The, the trash talk is a little bit the same. And I understand you met him around a year and a half or so ago. Where was this and what was that meeting like? It was last time in Moscow in a boxing event. Probably, yeah, this Gassif, Murat Gassif and Alexander Usyk fight. Uh-huh. Yeah, I met with him, yeah. What did you guys talk about? It's just good to see you, like, you know, nice to meet you, just first time I met with him. Oh, okay, that was the first time. He seems to yeah. think that, you know, there was some talk that he was going to fight Floyd. He seems to think that he could be a, a pro boxer. Do you think that he could be based on what you've seen from him? Impossible. Impossible. <laughs> you know, just if you go into boxing with Floyd, you know, just no chance. If Floyd going to MMA, fight with him, no chance. Right. So, like, maybe these MMA fighters should stop talking about boxing, right? Of course, yeah. Uh, Connor had a good, you know, first four rounds against Floyd. Were you, were you impressed with that? Yeah, Connor looks good. Yeah, 
you know, very interesting. And you know, Connor, he is like a phenomenon. He, he is great athlete. You know, just respect him. Just if he going to play basketball or play football, he can. Couple minutes, first couple minutes. Right. Well, you say his cardio isn't that great. Is that what you're implying? Exactly. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> do you, do you, would you suggest that he sticks with boxing though, because he continues to talk about it? No, you know, just uh, he um, he looks great in MMA. Okay, fair enough. Um, would you ever consider going to MMA? You know, I'm too old. You know, just I tried a couple of times. You know, with my friends in Kazakhstan, like you know, it's a different sport. Right. What have you tried? Like wrestling, jujitsu. Yeah, wrestling, jujitsu, like a little bit. You know, like Muay Thai, just. Oh just wow. A little bit different. What did you think of it? Tough. Tough. So tough. Boxing more easy. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm glad you said that. Um, <laughs> and for you, how many more years do you think you have left in you? How many more years do you want to actually fight for? Right now, I have I have six fight with the zone. Probably like okay, minimum three years. Minimum three years. Okay. You you want to fight all six fights though, right? Right. Exactly. Do you think this will be your last contract, or 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 maybe you'll sign another one afterwards? I don't know. Nobody knows. Right now, just I look like Manny Pacquiao or Floyd, you know, like 40 years old, like looks great. Right. Uh, one thing I've always wanted to ask you, big drama show, who came up with that? Who came up with that line? No, this is my point, you know, just because everybody asked me just, gee, what do you want if you're going to fight? I said, okay, I like big drama show. I like destroy my opponent, you know, just this is my point. You just thought of it on the spot. Yeah, just like that. Wow. Did you have you trademarked yeah. that that line, big drama show? No. What? No. You got to trademark that. <laughs> Very important. Come on, everybody knows this my. Uh, I know, but yeah. you don't want some other schmo to steal it. Like, what if Billy Joe Saunders steals that line? That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> it's a smart idea. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna do it. Do you guys have beef, you and Billy Joe? Maybe, maybe. Why not? Just you know, right now my first step. Of of course, of my focus on Steve Ross. If Billy Joe stay like you know activity, still champion, it, why not? Okay. What's the official prediction for Saturday? You know, I promise bring great show, good quality fight, good quality fight. If you're a real boxing fan or you wanna watch true like a war, like a true fight, please watch. Yeah. Please welcome to Minnesota Square Garden. Do, do you have something to prove on Saturday, considering what happened in your last fight? I think no. Just I feel great, you know, just my first step. And it is my new start, like a restart. Probably, like, you know, if if I beat Rolls, we see se September. Okay. Uh, and that would be against Canelo Alvarez. Last thing, thing for you, later on in the show, we have Nate Diaz on. Are you a fan of Nate Diaz? Yeah, I like him. Yeah. He's a good boxer, right? He's a good boxer. He is a warrior. He is a he is man. Mexican style. Not just Mexican style. You know, he's like a street fighter. You know, he's a man. I That's like him. All right. Uh, Triple G, this has been an honor. Thank you so much for doing it. I really appreciate it. And good luck to you on Saturday against Steve Rolls. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. All right. There he is. Kazakhstan's own Triple G, Gennady Golovkin.